Shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, I believe there is more terrible, 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 terrible material to, for us to read. I can't imagine why you're excited about this, but I think that it's all going to be on Jack Check! <laughs> What the fuck is that? Oh, it's your package. <laughs> Lemon, are you saying that you don't recognize an Elmo's World lunchbox? Wow. Don't you have like a child? Anyways. <laughs> we don't talk about Elmo. Oh, good. I've got uh, a glue stick. I'll uh, just be saving that uh, for later. We'll be eating that. Uh, that'll be good. Some paper, but fuck that shit, because I've got a whole bunch of crayons. <laughs> <laughs> this one says Metallic, and that's close to Metallica, right? Yay. They're a good band. <laughs> yeah, they sure are. They're a band. <laughs> so, uh, Jack Chick, what do, you, what do you have there? Uh, I have a scroll. <laughs> that must mean it's from the past. Well, so this... Uh, oh. <laughs> I am a professional. I can do this. Sorry, Monster selected something for you. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is called Sting Kill. <laughs> a Jack Raven story. However, uh, that would be J4CKR4VE3N story. Oh, good. <laughs> now, I know that you all like uh, Keld Shriver's work, so I'm, I think that this will just be pretty easy, Keld right? Shriver? Keld Shriver. Oh, Keld Shriver. I like him, yeah. Yeah, he's famous on the Amazon Kindle store. <laughs> I doubt yeah. that. All right, all right, all right, all right. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to skip 120 pages. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> Jack moved into the bar. There was a scattering of drinkers and diners. He could see a hacker in the corner, whip it thin, ironic t-shirt and Mac laptop open and typing. Whoa. Whoa. Hackers. What? Then he saw her. It was as if someone had asked for Jack's favorite type of woman and sent her to the place. <laughs> White linen dress with short puffy sleeves, tanned, blonder brown hair up in ponytail, silver hooped earrings. Jack's heart pumped faster. Stay calm, be slightly disinterested, but from the first glance was hooked and helpless. Hello again. Oh, hi. She stood up and kissed him on both cheeks. So just have Oh, hi! No, 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 there is no fucking sign that there is actually dialogue here. Oh, oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's the writer telling you, oh, hi. Yeah. Yeah. How Hello, the reader. fuck did you get 150 pages into this thing? <laughs> her, waft of perfume of blew, her waft of perfume blew open some synapses in Jack's erogenous zone of his brain. <laughs> He hoped his aftershave did the same to hers. <laughs> if a low karate, if I may say, you scrub up pretty well. Fuck. <laughs> so uh, if I don't know, uh, Travis, can you just dispose of this for me? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I just put it out. It's good. <laughs> Why, thank you. She blushed and looked out to see. The view is beautiful. 
Yeah, no, she looked out to fucking see. What's the problem? We've established the fucking scene here. The view is beautiful, is it not? Yes, it certainly is. Jack held her glance for three seconds. (laughs) And from that, Jack knew he was in business. The waiter hovered over the table. Drinks, madame, sir? What are you having? Kier Royale. Yes, madame and sir? Absolute Citroen and tonic with Schweppes for me. Uh, pause. Pause. <laughs> Thanks, Mantra. Uh, please, please read once again uh, what that drink is. <laughs> Absolute Citroen and tonic with Schweppes. Enjoy. Hey, it's probably not as bad as the paper I just ate. (laughs) That way I don't have to taste it more than once. (laughs) The waiter backed off into the distance. Cure Royale. Jack liked the choice. Classic with an edge. Frosty was at the bar holding court with a couple of the jet ski boys. Now, I, I'm pretty sure that you guys don't, don't uh, know what the scene is here, so let me just read that again real quick. Frosty was at the bar holding court with a couple of the jet ski boys, one of them from the beach earlier. Okay, great, sure. Frosty looked over in Jack's direction. He held Jack's gaze. Jack knew he was possibly in for unwanted business later. <laughs> Did you enjoy your swim today? Jack snapped back out of his imaginary fight and look what? <laughs> Looked back at something more appealing. Yes, it was much needed. There was a lot of marine life out there and the wa- water is a perfect temperature. This area is amazing for diving. You been out? Yes, on some wrecks way out. Sharks, huge manta rays, turtles, dorados, and a big jack. <laughs> Uh, sure. (laughs) She lingered on the last phrase with her eyes locked on to hit. I have no idea what's going on. Jack's heart started hammering at high speed as adrenaline pumped around his body. It was a very powerful shape. I glanced at it and it, ellipsis, took off. (laughs) Get out of town, big Jack. (laughs) Jack smiled. Where are you from? Jack searched deep inside her with a fixed gaze, scanning for any signs or clues. I think that's the worst sentence I've read today. (laughs) There's more pages. Do do, do I have to read them? (laughs) Yes. Yes, the the whole thing with the Angry Birds, that really painstakingly... There was a funny graphic. It was going to be super funny. Like There was like drawings, but they were like bad drawings. That was funny. I mean, Montreth told me to put the Angry Birds on the poster for a reason, so, like... Okay, 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 I I trust you. (laughs) Swiss via New York. I am a lawyer at a small investment bank in Manhattan. It's boring and hard work, but it's amazing... Nope, sorry. (laughs) It's boring and hard work, but it's an amazingly paid. (laughs) (laughs) Jack had downgraded her on hearing the L word. Damn, she still looks great, and you can't have it all. And you... Jack came out with his standard line, private security for corporates. Where? London or Paris, working in the Middle East or Africa. Sounds dangerous. It can be, but I manage the needs of the clients. I'm not on the front line. The waiter appeared with drinks. Now, in- You work in the Middle East or Africa? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Do you know which? You don't know which? No. Okay. <laughs> They're basically the same thing. You know, sometimes it's for business, sometimes it's for pleasure. You know, apparently these, apparently these pages were stuck together, and I, wouldn't, I would hate if this didn't make any sense. What? I, 
you know, I think I hear an, an angry bird <laughs> coming towards our place. Okay, 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 I got this. Okay, here we go. For you, madam, and you, sir, enjoy. Jack took a decent pull on his vodka and tonic. Clarissa sipped hers, not taking her eyes off Jack. Good choice. It's my favorite. What are you doing on the island? A fair question. I'm taking a couple of weeks off and looking after a villa, and until this afternoon, a dog. You didn't find it? Afraid not. I don't know what I'm going to do about it. It's not like I can go and buy a new one to replace it. Well, it's a sp- fairly small island. It must be somewhere. It's a real drag for me not to go looking Jack. all over the island. Take a breath and enjoy the text that you're reading. (laughs) For all of us. (laughs) I'll do one of those things. (laughs) Good idea. It's going to get hungry and then just reappear. The cut. The. No, no. Don't worry. The next sentence will explain everything. The conversation was flowing, but it was conservative sparring. (laughs) That that didn't do the thing that you said it would. Jack decided to up the ante? Nope. (laughs) They finished their drinks and Jack ordered another round? Okay. okay, Sensible. Sensible. Jack told anecdotes that were safe, but after he would penetrate Clarissa with a smile and stare. (laughs) Now wait just a damn minute. (laughs) You have to be extra creepy to penetrate somebody with your smile. (laughs) He was pushing it. (laughs) Two rounds later, he was being more suggestive, and she was playing ball. They ordered Jack a steak, Clarissa a shrimp salad. They had a bottle of Chablis, followed by another. (laughs) (laughs) After dinner, they took their nightcaps, an amaretto on the rocks for him and a limoncello for her. Down on the beach. I'm, I'm just saying, an amaretto on the fucking rocks, you were grossed out by the earlier thing? <laughs> Especially on the rocks. Together, it's heaven. <laughs> Frosty and the jet ski, boys, had long gone. One less thing to worry about. They laid down in the shadow of the beach bar veranda and gazed out at the electrical storm on the horizon. The dark, tall clouds moved slowly along the horizon black at the bottom, graduating to a light gray at the top? I don't, I don't think they did do that, actually. I, I'm, I'm, they can do that. I don't know what it fucking means, though. It's not so much of a graduation, but just kind of like coasting through with a C-. minus. Mm. Okay. Light tending illuminated the base of the clouds with a sparky flash and a faint crack. They rolled towards each other, tongues dancing and sparring? Oh, I see where this is going now. (laughs) Great. I don't know who you are, but I will find you and I will kill you. Her body felt firm and hot. His was firmer and hotter. (laughs) (laughs) Oh yeah, well I'm firmer than hotter. I'm firmer than hotter. Suddenly, she seemed keen to get back to her villa. They walked up the road and after a few and after a few minutes, she was unlocking the door and headed straight into the bedroom. She stripped Jack off. She... <laughs> you were like halfway there. You were like halfway there. <laughs> she... Her took her dress off. Fast mover. He was not disappointed. Her firm, tanned body was perfect. Her bikini lines shown to fit. <laughs> they showed. They showed the f- bikini line. Nope. Nope. The Read bikini it. line Read showed. It. Her bikini lines showed a film negative on her body. 
No. Nope. I don't believe it. Suddenly, he felt dizzy. Jack slumped onto the bed. As quick as a flash, a dark shape sprang out from behind the bedroom curtain. Flashing wire wrapped around Jack's neck and started to tighten. Jack came too as his... <laughs> okay, sure, that's what you're into? I'm excited. Jack came too as his head and face felt burning. He snapped out of his drug state and focused. He swung his legs and scissored his assailant over... <laughs> Lemon, I didn't get the wire around you. <laughs> you got to hold on here. Yeah, come we on, foreplay. We live in a society. <laughs> he swung his legs and scissored his assailant over with the power of his legs. <laughs> push, push, get focused. <laughs> this gave him a split second to get his hands under the fishing wire and pull it quickly over his heads. Both panting, they lay silent for a split second. Frosty was up first to kick Jack in the face. Jack flew off the bed onto the floor. Frosty the snowman? Frosty, he was introduced. Yeah. He was introduced on like page one or page two. Here's what I know about him. His name's Frosty. Uh, uh, and, he's, and he's associated with the Jet Ski Boys. What them Duff. Jet Ski Boys up to tonight? <laughs> How the, how the jet ski boys going to get out of this one? <laughs> Boss Hacker is like stomping on his hat. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Frosty was up first to kick Jack in the face. Jack flew off the bed onto the floor. Frosty was on him, beating his face. Well, I don't... Ooh, I have no idea how to pronounce that. <laughs> okay, I got this. You want a party, boy? Yeah, <laughs> boy. You. Yeah. I was, I was, I was boy spelled there. That would be B W O Y E. Oh yeah, you did that. Yeah, you did that yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Huh? You get licks, boy? Yeah. Frosty rained punches down, and Jack, with his defenses down, parried what he could. Bam, bam, bam! Big fist up, then down. Slam, slam, slam. <laughs> Kicking your ass with my onomatopoeia. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he's actually not even fighting him, he's just yelling at him. Yeah. You gotta hit him, Rock. Uh, there's no way to tell. Jack's face was toughened by the previous fighting, sea and sun. Smash, 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 block, parry, block! <laughs> it's like a 1960s Batman scene given words. <laughs> One huge blow came and Jack blocked and pushed Frosty so his bottom momentum took him over to the side of Jack. Jack, no, I don't know either, but that's fine. It's fine. It's action. It's good. It's chaotic. Jack pushed him off, stood up, and kicked him with his huge swing to the head. <laughs> yes. Okay. Frosty spluttered. Jack saw a lampshade on the table, ripped it out, and smashed it on Frosty's head. Oh, <laughs> Frosty slumped to the floor and fell silent. Jack stood over Frosty, his head swimming with drugs. As he stood there, he was hit with a powerful blow to the back of the head. He fell onto the bed. You want to take me now? Whoa, yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, Guan down! Ha, 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 ha! <laughs> it was the jet ski man from the beach! <laughs> who he had seen with Frosty. Jack's head was in a bad way. The man, the man dropped the kosh and got out a Balinese butterfly knife. I gon' quat cut you, boy, yeah? Slice, oop. 
Ya bwa ye guan sleep sleep. Is a part that's offended. <laughs> for or the other parts, enjoy. <laughs> so, so uh, the English language. For, for, <laughs> for those out in the audience, Guan is spelled G W A N. <laughs> he lunged at Jack, but Jack had enough energy to roll and punch him in the head with a side punch. <laughs> you you're welcome, Boots. Also, that's coming up in another line, so. <laughs> You're welcome. The man dropped the knife, and Jack scrambled for the knife and drove it into the man's neck. No! Does he come from the land of ice and snow? No, that would be. Ah! Totally different. Blood spurted over Jack in long streams of thick bark blood. The man made a hissing sound and his body kicked and spasmed in a death rattle. Jack pushed he knife in hard and the man's soul started leaving. Jack saw a young <laughs> blood. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I did not have a bre enough breath to finish that sentence. Jack pushed he knife in hard and the man's soul started leaving. Jack saw a young boy playing on the beach the last time he was happy. What? It's actually really poetic. It really is, yeah. He drove the knife in harder. He felt his pain but pushed through it. The man twisted his face and excelled in a noisy, spluttering gurgle. He put his full weight on the knife for several more seconds. Jack stood up and got his breathe back. He walked over to the bathroom. Yeah, it's how Jack got his breathe back. Come on. It's a famous film. C-minus joke, but I loved hearing it twice. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Lemon, I'd like to introduce you to this podcast called The F+. Plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, what happens when The F+, Plus encounters a dead horse? <laughs> we beat the fuck out of it. <laughs> yeah. He walked over to the bathroom, which was locked. He banged on the door. Let me in. No answer. Jack took a few steps back and shoulder-charged the door, which gave way easily. Cowering behind the door was Clarissa. Please don't hurt me. Who put you up to this? I c c c c c c c can't tell you. They will hurt me if I do. Tell me or I will hurt you. <laughs> Max Headroom now? <laughs> Why not? Jack made a fist and held it up threateningly. A Chinese man in New York. I, I didn't know this would happen. They told me to seduce you. Please. I didn't know this would happen. I'm scared. I'm a high class escort from New York. Jack looked at her, made a decision. He was unconscious before she hit the floor. She was unconscious before she hit the floor. Okay, that makes okay, more sense. Thank okay. you. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I, I'm sorry if part of this didn't make any sense. Yeah, who knew the writing would be bad? <laughs> Those paragraphs are really short, though. <laughs> but there's a lot of them. <laughs> Oh boy, is there a lot of... Jack splashed water and wiped the blood off his face and exited onto the beach and walked quickly away to Andy's, looking back every few seconds. Andy was waiting on the veranda. Listen to me. I don't know how they found out you were here, but I have nothing to do with it. How did you get to the airfield? An old Chevy. <laughs> that, seems, that sounds derogatory. <laughs> no, he just gave him the literal answer. Jack's mind was racing with all the options. He was computing all scenarios in seconds. There were several progress bars in his head, all waiting for results to... Fuck! You were right! Stog, did you give him one of your pages? <laughs> okay, I got this. There were several progress bars in his head, all waiting for results to come back. Andy broke the heavy silence. They must have found the Chevy and traced the flight to Anguilla, and I didn't remind you I have integrity with the people that count, and you are one of them. We have history. I would not stiff you, Jack. 
Jack, breakneck analysis. All the options can't come up with any more plausible than Andy's theory? No, that is not a sentence. Go back to school. It ended with a period. It's a sentence. Oh, you're right. You're right. I forgot that's the criteria. Andy treated Jack's shoulder with antiseptic and bandages? Yeah, just like in Metal Gear Solid 3. Hey, it works. Hey, hey Boots, uh, just... Uh, yes, you, you might want to turn the audio down a little bit right now. It hurts like hell. A sharp stabbing pain. <laughs> That's a sentence. After a few moments, it felt better. <laughs> Jack thought it through again. Andy was right. Andy was a mercenary and would get the cash off anyone, but he wouldn't cross that line. They must have found the Chevy and done the intel. Well, they must be on their way here if that's the case. They would have traced all flights out, and it wouldn't have taken them long to see one passenger out to Anguilla. Jack went into planning mode pretty quickly. And thankfully... This that is the last page! You need to get off this island, Jack. I'll prepare you a bag. Skip 92 pages. Andrew, you may... <laughs> Two pages of you bag wish. packing. <laughs> <laughs> I need my big ball. <laughs> Andy may be a crazy scatterbrained hacker, but he was very organized when it came to it. Jack ran through everything he would need. I need cash, a waterproof phone, a rucksack, water, space blanket, <laughs> some power bars, a knife, a magic key? I mean, if you have one, you should pack it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not disagreeing. <laughs> Bloody hell, anything else? Andy scuttles off, tutting and mumbling. He comes back with a rucksack. 5K cash, a slightly battered jailbroken iPhone with a waterproof case. It's still... Yeah, no, that's important. It's just... What? It's still bloody expensive, so don't lose it. Jack looked at Andy. That was a joke. Hilarious. Jack, Jack! One more, one more. Jack, Jack! Sting kill. A Jafork. Four three in story. Well, Mantra sent me to that, by the way, and the cover doesn't say that at all. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, 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 okay.